This video is to give you a basic understanding of how the recruiting process is working as of now. We are still recruiting, but we're doing the process a little bit different. But a lot of the steps are still the exact same as they were before. If you're interested in joining the National Guard, the first step of your process is going to be to contact a local recruiter. So I am a recruiter in the Henderson and Las Vegas area. So if you're in that area, you can feel free to contact me. The best way to get a hold of me is through text message. I answer all my texts very quickly. If you are outside of the Henderson or Las Vegas area, contact a local recruiter in your area. The best way to get a hold of a, a local recruiter in your area is to go to nationalguard.com and type in your zip code and they will hook you up with a recruiter in your area. After you've contacted me via text, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to send you over a few questions to determine whether or not you meet the basic eligibility requirements to join the National Guard. Once we've determined that you may meet the basic eligibility requirements, the next step is to set up an interview. Normally that interview would take place in my office, but since most people are staying at home right now, we have the ability to do those appointments via FaceTime or over the phone. The intention of that first appointment is to make sure that you have all the information you need to make an educated decision on whether or not the National Guard is a good part-time career path for you. It also serves as an opportunity for your recruiter to determine whether or not you would make a good fit in the National Guard. So after that initial appointment, we're gonna have a good idea if you wanna join the National Guard or not. So once we decide that you want to join the National Guard, the next step is the recruiter is gonna send you a link for an online application. You're gonna fill that application out at your house, online, and once you finish, you're gonna ask your recruiter to review the application. Once that application is complete, the recruiter can set you up with your ASVAB test. The ASVAB test is the test that you need to take that determines which jobs within the National Guard you qualify for. Once that test is 100% complete, you're gonna fill out what we call your life packet. Your life packet is basic forms that we need to get ready before you go to your next step, which is your physical. Once you've completed the ASVAB, we will have an idea of what jobs you qualify for within the National Guard. At that point, I'll give you a list of jobs that are available and you'll be able to pick one of those jobs. Once you've picked your job, we're gonna schedule you for your military physical with a doctor. So that's done at a processing center called MEPS. That's the Military Entrance Processing Station. So your recruiter will schedule you for a physical at MEPS. At MEPS, what's going to happen is you're gonna do your full physical and then once the physical's done, you're gonna sit down with one of our guidance counselors who are gonna finalize your contract and help you swear in to the National Guard. Once you're sworn in to the National Guard, the next step is you're going to start with the Recruit Sustainment Program. So the National Guard is the only branch of service that has the Recruit Sustainment Program. What that program is, is it's one weekend per month of training to help get you ready for boot camp or basic training. So you are going to serve and train in the Recruit Sustainment Program one weekend per month until you've reached your basic training ship date. So one weekend per month, we are gonna be preparing you for basic training. You're gonna get paid for that one weekend per month. Once you reach your basic training ship date, you're gonna ship off to your basic training location and basic training is gonna be 12 weeks long. From basic training, you're gonna go straight from basic training into advanced individual training where you're gonna learn your military occupational specialty, which is the job that you pick to learn within the National Guard. Now that training can be an extra six weeks or longer depending on which job you choose. Once you've graduated from AIT, now you're officially a soldier in the Army National Guard. You're gonna ship back to your home state and you're gonna start serving in your local unit one weekend per month and two weeks of training each summertime. Your minimum commitment is one weekend per month, two weeks of training in the summertime, so part-time commitment. At that point, you're gonna be qualified for all the benefits that the National Guard has to offer to include the 100% tuition waiver at any state college in Nevada and the Montgomery GI Bill and everything else along those lines.
Now, if you want more information about the benefits that are included with joining the National Guard, I recommend that you search my video, 2020 Benefits Overview National Guard. That's the basic process. We can answer all your questions in our initial interview, but that's basically how the process is gonna go. If you have questions, you can feel free to ask those questions in the comment. Um, if you know anyone interested in joining the National Guard, I highly suggest that you send them this video so they can have a better understanding of how it's going to work. So if you're interested in joining the National Guard, please send me a text message at my phone number. Um, if you're outside of Las Vegas, please contact the recruiter in that local area. And that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Have a good day.